it's Rail Klein, you're watching Rail Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing the series finale of the original season 5 episode 13. It's a safe space, this is where I have to be totally honest, and I'm going to be honest, if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch, but the truth is, this episode was so predictable, this finale, and I am upset, and I didn't like how it ended not just because of what had happened but like just because it was so predictable and it was boring so yes the episode started just how the last episode ended off Klaus was about to kill himself and then actually Hope came and Hope had no idea about like that it was going to be put in him and like what was happening but when she started realizing she knocked him out so it kind of reminded me a lot of the like it was also so much like the Vampire Diaries ending and I thought the Vampire Diaries ending was good because even though it was still, it wasn't predictable, but now I'm thinking about it, a lot of things they did was kind of like a vampire's ending, and you know, you gotta be original, like Julie Peck, like come on. Of course, trying to figure out a way that the class doesn't have to die, and Hope's like, well, let's break up the power again, but that's not gonna work. And it just seems like Klaus is going to die. Like, we knew that was going to happen. And I guess he was having delusions too, which Hope didn't really have. And I think they just put that in so that they could have his dad there. And that they could have Camille there. And his dad was telling him to kill Hope. And Camille was like, don't do it. I don't really know the point of that. It had really nothing to do with the story. They just wanted to have those actors there. It's like, it's the finale, but still there's no point. Of course the finale was during Mardi Gras that makes me really upset is they totally stole this thing with the whole market came supernatural because they're also calling it their darkness too and that was what it was and that makes me really upset when shows came the original so something that was really funny this episode um was that freya asked vincent for his sperm so she'd have kids. Oh my god. It was so predictable that he was going to first be like, no. And then he would come at the end and be like, yeah, okay. Like, it's so predictable. And something that was also so predictable is that Cole was all like, I don't care. I'm leaving. Rebecca's like, no, this is my brother. And then he comes back later on. Like, like that's so predictable. Like, I... It's so predictable. It makes me mad. So also, Elijah took some of the darkness. And I was like, what does this mean? And that's when I started realizing he's going to die too. So that was like probably like something else that I predicted, which made me really upset. So good that Caroline was there too, and she actually saved the voicemail that was in the pilot of the originals when Klaus was calling her, and I was just like, they also have a kiss later on, which I was like, ah. but it was like a goodbye, and also Rebecca and Marcel kind of start arguing up, I think they had sex. But it kind of seemed random because it was like a really sad scene. Then all of a sudden they were kissing. I was like, where did that come from? And at the end they ended up together and she said yes to marrying him. And I was like, knew that was going to happen too. Um, Klaus and Hope had a few emotional scenes. And Danielle is such a great actress. I hope she does amazing legacies. Now she does her mom and dad. Oh yeah, this is a really big spoiler episode. But it's the finale. So don't watch if you haven't seen it. The finale. There was also a scene that reminded me of, I forgot, I think it was the 100th episode in the Vampire Diaries in season 5 when Catherine's dying and so John says they were like all drinking and like talking about like memories with her. So they started doing that with um, Klaus. So that's what it reminded me of. And then they all had a dinner with Klaus and Hope too. And I, it just felt like really forced, like the whole scene of them being like happy and stuff. like. So I was dying, like, I wouldn't be happy even it was, like, my last in the time to be happiness with them. It just seemed so forced, and I didn't like it. So there's also this little thing with now Rebecca and Marcel, and Klaus is saying that there's a cure in Mystic Falls, and I'm kind of like, how? Like, we never really learned in the Vampire Diaries what made the cure. We knew that you took it and became human, but if someone took it out of you, you would age. So I'm guessing there had to be more than one cure so that Rebecca and Marcel could be humans because I'm guessing if they're gonna get married now, they're gonna Marcel's also gonna be becoming human. So I'm guessing maybe because it's like a school and they were able to figure it out the cure. But I've always said something I always wanted was what made the cure. maybe we learned it and I just forgot. Possibility. So yeah, the cloud's about to die and he broke the stick and Elijah's like, What are you doing? Or no, wait, Elijah broke the stick. I 
don't even know. But they were both were gonna die and they were just dragging me and I was like, I like knew this happening. Like I was even sad, like this is so predictable. Like it's so like unnecessary to kind of remind me of Vampire Diaries. Like was it really necessary for Stefan to die? But then you realize in Vampire Diaries, Stefan and Catherine died and this cost and Elijah died. And they were just dragging it out, which made me really, really mad because um, they cut a Claroline scene, which actually seemed like really important to the storyline. And they were just dragging this out, which was so unnecessary. And then their body started vaporizing, which kind of made sense because at first I was like, who's going to clean up at, they just made these bodies in the street. But like, were the bodies vaporized or did they just do that to make it beautiful? The finale, I'm so glad the originals was over because this last season... Basically, the last two seasons were kind of like, uh, um, it was so predictable. I always knew, like, Klaus was probably going to die or, like, something big was going to happen. And, like, also Elijah would get in the way and do something and I knew he was going to die. So, it was so predictable, which made me really mad because a season finale is supposed to be crazy. It was supposed to be unpredictable. It's supposed to be awesome. And the Empire Diaries was unpredictable because of what... I don't even remember. But this was just too much of the same. And maybe I just watch too much TV where I'm so good at predicting stuff now. But it was just so predictable and made me upset. Legacies is good. She, Daniel's already getting hate for the Legacies. Um, word of advice, Daniel, don't just ignore it. Because even if you have a project that's so amazing, there's always going to be haters. Whatever you do, getting into entertainment world, you're going to always have haters. I have haters too, and like I have like 10 subscribers. So you just got to do you and ignore it because you just got to do you. So thank you guys for watching my review. This is my last review for the originals forever. Oh my god. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. This is Real Clive with Real Reviews, and bye.